daily, weekly, and monthly reports. How can we make it in the easiest way? Let's talk about it in this video. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Rappers. Here you can find you can find some nice templates for Looker Studio for marketing and sales. But let's back to our topic and talk about aggregation method in Looker Studio. I have as an example Google Search Console data and this is daily data. I have daily chart and a daily table as an example. And I want to give opportunity to viewers of my dashboard to change aggregation method from days to month and weeks and maybe even a quarter or quarters or years. Uh, how can we do it? We have drill down function. We can click drill down. Uh, and uh, style show always, for example. Um, and the same I can do with the table. I can click to drill down and when I select dimension as date or something like date related uh, field, it will be automatically drilled down by years, dates and month. And I can change it to always show. And in this case, on a view mode, our users will see these little errors uh, to switch from years to month or days. The same for table. But for this, uh, I, I like it and I use it quite a lot in my dashboards. Um, but I have to do it for each chart. For example, if I have like different charts on the page and I want to change the drill down, uh, I want to change granularity only on one chart, it's perfect and you, need, you don't need anything else. So I really like it and use it a lot and please use it. Mm, but let's talk about some tricks. <laughs> how, can we, how can we deal with that? And I will show you like funny trick. Okay, let's remove our drill down and uh, let's create additional parameter for our data source it's really funny you will love it uh, i click edit and i click add parameter i can call it um, how can i call it data aggregation uh, it's but for users it will be not relevant for users it will be dates mm, period it could be period and uh, my date type will be text and I need list of values and my values will be day, um, week, month, let me check, uh, we can do it for, okay, let's do for free for now, day, week, month and I will check later if I can do quarters. So I have parameter, I saved it and uh, now I need to create an, one more field. I need to create a field based on this parameter. I create calculated field. It will call the um, date range or period. Can I create parameters field? Okay, I can call it periods. Sorry. And here we'll write a formula. Case when our parameter that called period is day, then use field date. When our parameter period is week then use next formula date uh, date time trunk uh, we um, we truncate from date field week um, okay when period Something wrong with my formula, but let's check it later. Month, then 
now the trunk parameter is date expression a uh, part is month and uh, and you have only three options of our parameter but here I want to use date month maybe I need to write it capital does it work yes formal works so we say if our parameter that we just created is day we show date field if our parameter is week we show weeks and if month we change our date fields to month and I can save it don't forget to save and then click done and then I change in my um, in my charts I will change date to period and the same I will do here in table I need only period period field after that, so you don't see any difference right now uh, resize fit to data you don't see any difference for now but now we can add add control fix size list let's create it here uh, and here we need to use our parameter ah, okay here we need to use our parameter that we created and this parameter has three values I don't need search box uh, okay. and which options do we have fix size list um, okay not really much options uh, we can change we can make it a bit bigger this we can make and uh, we can we can make our we can use filter on the, some part of our dashboard for example um, and we can add other filters here let's assume that we will have other filters on the left side for example and here in the view mode let's see what how it will work we can select week where is one okay when we select week we already have weekly breakdown when we click month where it is okay now it's better so when we have weeks we can see weekly breakdown and when we click to month we can see monthly breakdown and it work it works for the whole page i really love this trick so we can do we can really give our users opportunity to check weeks by month uh what i wanted to check so day weeks and month i remember uh how do i work usually and this is more like boring information but how do i work normally uh, i use uh, for this parameter i use a formula uh, i use formula date time trunk and i don't remember which options do i have in this formula like which options looker studio allows us and i check uh, here i check this support article help article and here we have part we can extract seconds minute hours days is a week so i selected week and it starts from sunday mm, but actually for my case it will be more correctly select is a week to start weeks from mondays or we have quarter and we have years so we can use quarters uh okay we decided to add new parameter oh sorry I did some testing. Uh, quarter, where is it? Quarter, copy. And uh, if we decided to add something more options, we need to check yeah the support article, and then we can go back to our parameter and add here new value quarter. Save it. 
Dann. Ja. Oh, oh, it's huge. <laughs> Funny. Uh, now we have quarters. And we can see like quarterly breakdown as well. Why it is huge? I don't like it. Ah, because I copied it from the name. It's fine. Alright, it's fine. But then it doesn't matter. I think you got the idea. Uh, and hope you like it. And I think I can finish this video on that. I really love this trick. Hope it's useful for you and for your users who use Looker Studio. And I really enjoy these uh, little tips and tricks and it makes my life more interesting and easier for my customers. <laughs> so that is it. If you want to see some dashboard templates, I want to remember you about my store, uh, gailoreports.com. You can see some e-commerce, digital marketing, paid traffic, organic traffic, some special reports. I'm really proud of my customer cohort analysis. It's really nice. Um, I made it in Google Sheets, but it's possible to move to BigQuery with some uh, SQL to change like formulas from Google Sheets to BigQuery, but you can check the logic of this dashboard and it's already great. I have a nice thing for Google Search Console and G4. Um, and I want to talk a bit about Google Ads dashboard, for example. I did it recently, Google Ads Extended Analytics Report, uh, that I really recommend you to check if you work with um, paid traffic. I really like this dashboard. It's super, it has a lot of interesting information uh, about Google Ads. And super useful. Yeah, now I'm <laughs> now I'm finished. <laughs> Hope you like this video. I will be happy to read your comments and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.